Ramesh, can you show me how to do input? Well, let's look at how we do GPIO input. Okay. So again, we have a microcontroller. On our microcontroller, we are interfacing a switch. And here's our switch interface. We're going to do our switch interface. There is our resistor connected to ground. And we're going to interface to port B, pin 0. Got it. And that's our 3.3 volts there. Again, um, the way we understand our switches, if you remember, is if I if the switch is open, which is the state right now, then um, the voltage I read here will be zero volts, and the logic I will be re responding to is zero. Uh, if it is if it is closed, which means the switch is closed or pressed. Uh, in this case, it's, it could be a button. So then this will be 3.3 volts and we'll read, read, read a logic one. That's oh, what sweet. we want. So again, there is a device register, a, a device register. These are called GPIO input registers. And we're gonna use these registers to do our work. So this is our GPIO register. So let's make it a little bigger. So again, like the D out that we saw previously, this is a D in. This is input. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna look at PB zero, which is again this is port B, and we're looking at this pin uh -huh. Uh -huh. bit right here. This is our bit. So this bit will reflect what is the state of the switch. Again, if the switch were open, this will be a zero, and if the switch were closed this will be a one. Got it. All right, so let's write the code for this. Um, we just wanna, the idea here is to read the switch slash button, whatever you wanna call that, its state. Now again, just like the output, I'm gonna read the state of the entire port first. Yes, so uh, we're gonna, our first step is uh, read current state of the whole port, port B, so that we can then extract just the second step is extract the pin of interest. Okay. Okay, so let's write the code then. We're going to read our register into a reg this device register address into a register i'm going to use r1 and i'm going to load the gpio b d in 31 underscore zero so right now r1 will hold that address r not is going to hold its state okay so r0 at this point has the entire port B input. Exactly. It has all of R0 at this point will have this entire state. Everything from here, this entire state is in R0. And we're only interested in this one bit. So we're going to again use a mask to extract it. We're going to move S, R2, and now our mask is a 0x01 because this is the only bit we're interested in and we not don't care about any of the other bits. And now that we have our mask, we're going to extract it by doing an AND, and operation. An AND operation, as you remember, the S AND will only, wherever there's a 1, it's going to get us the value and the rest of them are going to be simply ignored. So I'm going to do a R2, and this will make sure that when I finish this, when I finish this, R0 will have zeros everywhere, except for the one bit I'm interested in. And this can be either a zero or a one, depending upon what it, the DIO zero was. Got it. So again, in this case, if it was it was open, 
it will be a zero if it is closed it's going to be a one. Oh, sweet 